is up, you guys? Coming at you from the 435. Awesome, so in today's video, we're gonna be installing the numeric short throw shifter kit. This is the shifter assembly, and the upgraded cables are right over there. In my 2008 wide body Pandem Porsche Cayman. But if you look behind me, uh, we don't have it here, and that's because it's across town, so we gotta go get it. Were you gonna, yes. were you gonna scare me? All right, there she is. Ooh, there they are. So we got the XJ right here, which has some parts coming in. Then we're gonna go wheeling. So I made it back to the shop with only scraping like five or six times. <laughs> so having a wide body car that's on air, like super low, uh, becomes like very tedious. Just driving it across town, I have to like be super careful and hit the uh, gutters at perfect angles, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out, I'll figure it out. So in today's video, we're going to be swapping out ugh, the stock shift assembly right here with that new numeric short throw shifter kit that's all billet aluminum, and then they have new shift cables, which are supposedly way smoother and like huge difference. So let me show you guys real quick. So right here is the stock Cayman shift assembly, and you can see right off the bat how much slop is in here. And that's because the whole assembly down here is all plastic with plastic bushings and all that, and they just wear out. So this car has like 117,000 miles, so that's a lot of miles to put on a plastic shift assembly. But you can see that, that's all in neutral. But then right here you can see the throw is like really far forward, and goes all the way back. So the new one should be a lot tighter and uh, also have no slop. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. So the Cayman is an amazing driving car, but there are some drawbacks and the shift assembly is one of them. It kind of just feels chintzy, even though it feels great. Like it is, it's, a, it, it's really fun to drive and it feels great. I just know that that is a, uh, an area that can be improved. We need to pull that whole center console off, plus the dash, plus the engine cover and like underneath the car to fit the cables in. And uh, Faith is at the gym. So I'm going to kind of prep the tools, get things ready, but I'm definitely gonna need her help. She could be here uh, anytime now. Come on, come on Faith, where are you? Oh, finally you're back. Jeez, oh. I've been waiting for you, I need your help. Can I make a smoothie first? Okay, as long as you make me one. So while Faith makes her smoothie, she'll be down in a couple minutes, I'm going to make some room for us by removing these seats. I've come to learn that it's pretty tight inside the car, so removing the seats always makes it easier. All right, you're back. I'm here to save the day. What do you need help with? Hold the camera. Okay. There you go. Wow, that was annoying. Oh, oh I see what you're doing here. My little stash. Hmm. I think this one's not even open. Score. Lunch. Yep. Free snacks. My gosh, don't ever chew with your mouth open again. So just like that, we have so much more room in the car. Like Faith, come on in. Uh, yeah, not gonna lie, this is way better. <laughs> so much more room without the seats. I can actually lay down. Perfect. What's up, guys? This is how I should drive the Cayman around. Yeah, it's pretty cozy, huh? No seat at all. Yeah. yeah. I'm having a great time. Oh, yeah. I still have to pay my tent ticket. Whoops. Oh, my gosh. So, like I said, we need to remove this whole center console, which is something I've never done before. Just watched a video, seemed really easy. So, we gotta start in here first. It's just carpet under there. Yep. Huh. I will be back. Gotta get more tools, I forgot. Okay. I'll be right here. I'm interested to see how you're gonna do this. Me too. 
All I know is that you pop this boot off with clips. You guys all know how clips work. They break? Yep. <laughs> if Clayton can do this without breaking any clips, you guys like the video. Okay, I thought you said you were gonna buy me dinner or something, but liking the video works too. <laughs> so far so good. Wow, that nice. was impressive. Yeah. Good job. Never done that before, but you guys can see already. So there is a little bit of metal pieces in there, but you see all this plastic? It's like rubbed off. Oh, yeah. that seem very smart, but I'm not an engineer, so. Okay, so this is a tricky part. Basically, you just pull up as hard as you can, oh. from what I've heard. Hmm. Apparently, I'm not strong enough. Oh. So that reminds me of that, like, Sword in the stone Excalibur. Thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, got it off. Wow. We should probably replace this with something else that looks a little bit more modern. Mm. It's a hat. <laughs> a dunce cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like an alien. Or a <laughs> quail. The, the gang's all here. The gang's all here. Dang it. So this is the old shift, I guess, shift stock. I'm gonna grab my tape measure real quick and we'll see, measure this throw of this, and then we'll measure the throw of the new one. Because it should be shorter. Is it, okay. Hence, short throw shifter. Oh, okay, short shift. What? Short throw shifter. I've, I've, okay, I know what this is now. <laughs> you didn't know what it was the whole time. I just thought you were getting a cool new, like, shifter knob thing or whatever. Oh. But I didn't know it was gonna be like. Yeah, so this is the throw. All right, I'll, I'll get the okay, okay. Okay. Time to learn what a throw is. So you have third gear right there, and we'll measure it from, I guess, the screen here. So it's at four inches exactly, and then when you go all the way back, it's at eight inches, so it's a four inch throw. Okay. Three, well, let me, let me re-measure, let me re Three and a half inch throw, guys, okay. three and a half. So it's three and a half inches, and throw. So this next one's gonna be like what? Two, two? or something, yeah. And it's adjustable. It can go, the stock throw, it can go shorter than that. Mm. Uh, but it's gonna be extremely tight. And, and nice to drive. Yeah, it's gonna change the driving experience. You're gonna miss driving this. I don't know. <laughs> the airbags kind of uh, Ruin it. ruined it for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was telling them at the beginning of the video, if you put your car on air, wide body it, make everything custom, it's just not the same car anymore. You're gonna have to baby it everywhere. Yep. But it looks really good when it's parked, and that's it what does. we're building it for. Yep. Okay. Nice. Let's get that piece out. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Interesting. Oh. There it is. Wow. You did that all by yourself. No, you helped. You took like three bolts out. Oh my goodness. All right, so here is the stock assembly and I was not lying when I said it was plastic. But look at, oh, look at the slop. And like those cables down here. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right. There's the stock shifter right there. Not anymore. Look at this upgrade. Wow. Wow, well absolutely. So I'm just gonna place this in here, you guys can see what it looks like. Very looks really cool. good. But now these are the stock cables, which on the other end, the transmission end, have plastic fittings that over time, this car is what, 12 years old, that plastic becomes brittle and it could break at any moment, which would then leave you stranded. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna replace these cables with the new really high-end ones. Um, and that's gonna take quite some time and it's a lot less boring. So It's a lot less boring or it's a lot more boring? A lot more boring. <laughs> All right, that took me about an hour to get these cables out. Mm -hmm. And I found out that uh, I have some sort of grease leak in yeah, my engine bay, I gotta wow. figure that out. Way to go, wearing a white shirt. 
I know, right? But these are the new cables. They look a lot better and are gonna perform much, much better. Hi guys. <laughs> are you waving at me with the shifter? Yep. Nice. So I'm attaching the cables down here to the arms of the transmission. Okay. And that's about all I know. Alrighty. So I think we're almost done. Yeah, you guys, we're done with the install part. As you can see, the inside is still a mess, but uh, it's got a lot less play. It's got a much shorter throw, but we gotta put the whole interior back together, really. Yeah, should we save them that boringness? Yeah, it's literally just everything we did, but in reverse. All right, here we go. Boom, everything's in. It went in way easier than it came out because I didn't really know what I was doing when we were disassembling everything, but it's in, solid. Now let's measure the throw. Remember the last one was like, what was it? Like three and a half, four inch-ish inches throw. So we'll measure from the same spot. We'll go forward. Okay, we're at four inches right there. And now we're at six and a half. So it went from a three and a half inch throw, four inch throw to a two and a half. And that's the medium setting too. It could go shorter than that, but I like this. All right. Well, that was a good sign. I was able to put it in reverse, uh, but let's go give it a test drive, see what it feels like. It's definitely way tighter now. so much more like a race car now. It's pretty great. Nice. You gonna give it a shot? You wanna try it? You haven't driven it yet since it's wide body. Uh, for a reason. <laughs> it's terrifying. Just a little nervous? Yes. Fine. I think it'll be fine. I fine. think it'll be all right. <clears throat> okay, Faith. Name of the game, don't scrape. <laughs> I already. Ooh, hmm. Feels good, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is terrifying. Ooh, I don't like that noise. You're good. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, it feels better, huh? Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. It's faith approved. Faith approved. So what do you guys think of my new interior mod on my wide body came in? We have the short throw shifter by Numeric Racing. I think it was totally worth the money. It feels so much better. It feels like a race car now. It does. And like I've been saying, now that I've wide bodied it, it feels like a completely different car. I have to kind of baby it and that kind of stuff, but this makes me want to drive it really hard. I could only imagine installing this back when it was stock. That'd be really fun. That would have been very, very fun. Yeah. Uh, but we have so many more mods coming to the Cayman. You guys thought it was done but that was just version one. We probably have uh, like another two versions, version two, version three. But how's it driving the wide body came in? Right, it's fine because I'm going straight right now, but the second I have to turn, I'm gonna feel anxiety. It is pretty hard, you just like, every little bump and crevice in the road, you're like, Argh. Oh, oh. Go. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That went smooth. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh we got the no. shop gutter. Careful. You have to hit it way more of an angle than that. Oh, and you're scraping. Like this? Yep. And then straighten out. Keep and then going? just avoid the curb. Just don't run into the curb. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, Robin, Robin. I don't like it. Uh, this is what you're gonna have to deal with, Clayton. You can uh, take it from me. <laughs> All right, uh, not proud of my parking job, but you guys gotta understand. It's terrifying to drive that, especially with Clayton. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just a little bit of rubs. Also, have any of you guys ever run into this issue? Any other Porsche owners out there? Watch this. I turn off the car and the key doesn't come out. Hmm, weird. Does anybody know how to fix that? Let me know in the comments below. It's a weird Porsche Kirk. Uh, Kirk? Uh, uh, quirk. You know what, quirk, quirk, whatever. Well, the Cayman's not perfect, but it's on its way there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I modded the car with the short throw shifter from Numeric Racing. And thanks Faith for giving it a shot. What'd you think? I liked it a lot. It was a good mod. We have so many more mods to come, like I had mentioned, and I think the Ferrari should be done being painted here in the next day or two, and we're definitely gonna bring you guys along for that one. Stay tuned, click subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.